She's dead. She's dead. Yo, guys. Happy New Year's to everyone. Uh, and welcome to the blind playthrough of Until Dawn, uh, despite the game releasing in 2015. Lots of stuff to look forward to in the first half of uh, 2021, but until then, since I uh, live stream every Saturday, we'll indulge ourselves in one of the last games I've been holding off on playing. I heard that it was actually designed until dawn to be a more like movie-like experience without turning into a bunch of non-playable cutscenes, which is a trend I'm seeing more of. And coming from the film world myself, this is of great interest to me. In fact, I think the characters in this game in Until Dawn are actual Canadian actors and use their likeness in game. But the only actor I know of in this game is Rami Malek, one of my very favorite modern actors. Let's get into it. Yeah, a skull with an hourglass, that's always a, a good indication, right? Traditional controls and motion controls. Oh, no, 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 uh, no gimmicky bullshit. Uh, horror games, <laughs> you don't want the controls getting in the way. Any little thing we do is going to have irreparable consequences. So I wonder if you can actually like rotate your save. So like if you make one stupid decision you regret, you can go backwards. Okay, we gotta have a snowy cabin in the woods. All right, we got a bunch of horny teens, so obviously someone's gonna die. All right, so we gotta figure out who are the promiscuous teens and who are the virgins. That'll give you an idea of who will live and die. You look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Okay, someone's gonna die. I got your note. I'm glad you can make it. Oh my god, this guy looks like Maybe a goofball already. start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god. Like the prank gone wrong. Oh shit. Okay, so we got QTEs. I'm sort of already cataloging in my mind who's probably primed to die in this game. Or who's meant to die. Huh? Huh? What the? Huh? What the hell was that? Did I just see horrible visions of my own death? Hmm, okay, I, I'm assuming this will all become more clear as we... as certain characters are sacrificed. Of course, there's a psychologist that's supposed to be you helping me, but he's actually fucking up my game. mind. I swear, this guy actually wants me to be fucked up. He's trying to fuck me up in the head. How did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. It makes me happy. Uh, okay, it's, it's got sunshine. I like sunshine. And why do you think you're afraid of the dark? Oh my god, is this guy like secretly the killer? And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? What inspires fear more than that? You, you crazy fuck. I suggest you try to stay away from dark places. I think this guy's been on a little bit too much Prozac. You're my psychologist. Don't you have, like, lights or happy music or anything? Let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me. And Is this guy stoned, depressed, or insane? On all of us. That's funny. They give you kind of like a little word cloud on the character. The gates busted climb over. What, are you serious? Dude, let me in, damn it. I'm not climbing over this crazy shit. No, 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 we're not going to do anything stupid. Let's not do anything stupid. What the? Well, oh, that's some bullshit. Can we die? Can we technically already die? Huh? Oh, what the? Damn it. What? What happened? Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Death 
danger, loss, guidance, fortune. Uh, is this going to be super important later and I'm going to regret if I don't read this now? This is very much, yeah, like a very movie-like game experience. Almost like a choose-your-own-adventure with just enough navigation to make it, like, feel more interactive. Okay, is this the red herring? Like, we think they are the killer, but they are not. Sam, I want you to grab that gun and, like, never let go of it. This guy kind of has to decide between being a being an asshole or avoiding the squirrel. Okay, regardless of how I feel about these characters, hey, I'm going to try to Wait, give them I'm the best possible outcome. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Because I swear, this guy in an actual horror film would have probably shot that damn squirrel. All right, Christopher, let's see if you're as badass as the Resident Evil Chris. Nothing in the lockers? Come on. Reloading tool? Grenade launcher? Anything? Boom. Butterfly effect. All right, horny teens, horny teens. Someone's gonna die. I mean, it's guaranteed at this point. Trusting, confident, yet irreverent. That's an interesting combination. Okay, so there's Jess, there's Sam, there's Mike. Mike's the guy that boy, Hannah boy, was boy. in love with, right? New Time to meet and greet. So you getting to know these characters. Only to watch them die a horrible death later. And so far, I have no sense of where I am other than like a snowy mountain. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? This is pretty heavy handed. We're all horny tool. teens. Tool and die. Oh god, she has like bitch written all over her face. Intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. Mike's ex. What the hell? And does this guy like date every girl in the goddamn high school class? He's not gonna die first just because he's black, is he? I mean, that is the horror movie convention, but let's not have that happen. Motivated. Uh, so he's her new boy toy, ambitious and active. Oh god, she's using him as a pack mule? She's gonna be like the girl that we want to die, right? We're almost there. Intelligent, driven, persuasive. Well, there's three people who are persuasive. Is persuasive just another word for asshole? Uh, Mike is Emily's ex, and why am I not surprised? Oh, I have a sense of three people who would what? normally already die. Hey, could you? Oh, you why? cheating little whore. Ashley? Oh god, are all of them like defined by who they have a crush on? Yeah, right, if these were my friends, I'd just tell them all, peace out, yo. <laughs> I'm off this mountain. I'm not gonna be stuck in a snowstorm with a bunch of these crazy people. Whoa, hello. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. Oh, oh motherfucker! <laughs> Hey, whoa. Hey, sorry Dude. There. Sorry about that, Ash. That's how people get killed, you know. That's how people get jacked up and killed. Is this a red herring? Is he gonna, like, secretly see what the fuck? Bitch. Let's see if honesty actually works in a horror movie video game. Check phone, read book. Uh, let's, let's make you the kind of girl that reads books. Yeah, uh, ooh, uh, mm, yeah ooh, what? You did not just do that. God, I knew a guy in high school just like this guy. Mike. In your face, bitch. Oh, I don't know okay. if I like you anymore. Okay, you're really gonna get it. He called us a snowball queen. All right, so we pretty much have a premise with a bunch of jocks and girls in yoga pants. So, this is not boating well. And how are we feeling? Hmm? We're feeling fine until you asked us how we were feeling. Which image in each set makes you the most anxious? You wanna to get to the root of my anxiety? Just look in a freaking mirror, boy. I fear heights or I fear drowning. Eh, I have to say I fear drowning. Oh God, am I foretelling my own death? Guns are scary, knives are scary. Uh, I'd, if I had to wager my life, I'd wager it in a knife fight. Dude, stop saying silent, say something. Thoughtful, loving, complex. Is that just another word for fucked up in the head? Uh, so he's Hannah and Beth's brother. So those were the two girls that plunged to their deaths as a result of a prank. All right, so we are setting up conveniently that there is no cell service. Gossip and wor no, let, let's worry. Let's not gossip. Gossip leads to mistrust. Mistrust leads to cannibalism. No, seriously, I'm over it, and I just want us to have a good time. You know. You are not over it, motherfucker. You sound like you got doped thing. up and high right before we all got Girls, here. When are you gonna take her to the bone zone? The bone like, zone? That could ever happen. 
Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear. No mercy. I'll let you think I mean, that I agree with you, you, you crazy <laughs> fool, because I have a very bad <laughs> feeling right, about right, you. Got it. You sounded like you had a plan. You sound like you're fucking you insane back. in the membrane. Lovely lady. No, 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 no. You first. You first. Here. Use this. He's setting us up. He's Whoa, setting us up Chris, for something. I just got an, I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't what follow. the how's fuck? It, a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on. It's a can. Bye, hey man, bye, I'm I'm your lock. third grade Bingo. best friend, dude. All right, so you got this. You better not like feed me to the jackals. Go some of course, he's got to give us a freaking lighter. Good totem. Good totem. Happy totem. Good luck totem. All right, turn that lighter off. Turn that lighter off. Cheap jump scare. Cheap jump scare. Come on. I'm ready for you. Wait, what? It's locked from the outside and it's locked from the inside? All right, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. Prom night. Oh, okay, so they're like freshmen in college, right? Hannah, Mike, Sam, and Emily. Uh, Emily's the, the girl with too much eyeshadow. Where the hell is the goddamn door? Can you just grab like a, a crowbar or something just smash down one of the windows? I am very uncomfortable right now. Oh, no, come on. No, come on. Let's not have that. Let's not have randomly flapping windows. Oh, God. Uh, uh. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not spray the deodorant. What the fuck are you doing? Someone turn on some goddamn you know, lights. Kind of did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. Please. You're such a bitch. Whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. On a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? This that's is insulting. escalating strangely quick. The little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Rodeo? Oh Who the God, fuck do you think you are, bitch? The Italian shoe place where Rodeo? I you pronounce it Rodeo? You you're a goddamn counter. Canadian, oh. girl. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. All right, she's a level-headed one. She's the cool one. Yes? <sighs> Exiled. Sexiled. <laughs> Works for me. By all logic, these two should be dead. What's up with Jess and Emily? Leading their boyfriends around like freaking pack mules. Wait, what the? What the? Hey, come on, hold still, bitch. And See, in a horror that. movie, if this were really a movie, uh, a you can already tell mind. that some of them are gonna die. But I'm really hoping that there's some kind of a some kind of path of redemption for all of them. Even Emily. So so far, the biggest threat in this game, as I can see, is Josh. I think you bring out the worst in her. Is that so? Wait, right, let's, let's not cross this girl. Jealousy. Let's not cross her. Second. She could be secretly the killer. Oh, so there's no way, I'm guessing, to stack, sa uh, to rotate saves. During the, during the actual playthrough. What the? Mike, generator. All right, got it. Was that the motherfucker from Saw? Um, that was just a squirrel. Did you hear that? Just a squirrel. It was just a squirrel, damn it. Stop pretending it's something else. What the fuck? Okay, that QT just came out of nowhere. Okay, I'm guessing there's not a lot of backtracking and exploration in this game. Wait, wait, wait. Cigars? Cigars are related to fire. We had a vision of fire killing us all. Hey, wasn't that psychiatrist like smoking cigars too? Gonna look at the tree. Gonna look at the clouds, gonna look at the cabin. Um, Cheap jump scare. Whoa. Cheap jump scare. Cheap jump scare. I just saw someone at the cabin. Come here, squirrel. What the fuck? It was a squirrel. I swear. 
Yeah, it was a squirrel. This posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. You dumb ass idiots. Oh, Michael, I have the best idea. No, you don't. Are these teens just fucking stupid or something? I mean, even if there weren't some crazy killer on the loose, would you seriously go... Okay. All right, we're idiots. Every sign is pointing to death at this point. Uh, Jess, I have an idea. There's like a, a cabin full of chainsaws over there. Let's hide there. Certainly nothing could go wrong. Yes. Yes. No. Just a squirrel. Just a squirrel. It's only a squirrel. You want to help me get this fire going? Uh, You're still getting well, the fire going? I was just getting into the bath. All right, oh, so guys, is the purpose of all this to like to survive? Until dawn. Oh god, don't help this guy start a fire. Don't help the doped up guy start a fire. In a house full of wood. And why the hell isn't there like a freaking light switch? Oh no, let's not go into the basement with him. They are very sweet together. Let's not, let's not be condescending. Just let's not get trigger him. I swear, they just need like... Something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at what this the rate, fuck? they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> Did you just say, let's give them a traumatic event so they can become closer? I do not have a rocket launcher right now, and I'm very nervous. Yeah, conspicuous photo reminding us of our guilt. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit, she's got a butterfly tattoo on her shoulder. Oh my god, she's got like Walmart logos painted all over her nails. I love this girl already. Look at this guy. He's just standing there waiting for us to to go down first. I just wanted to say... Uh, you're not going to tell me you're, you're in love what? with me, right? No. It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and you know that you came, Sam. Yeah, stand, stay behind him just in case he has any ideas about giving us a little nudge. Wait, 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 don't, don't let him get too far away. He's going to disappear behind a wall or something, right? Dude, you're not turning on the boiler, are you? You're not turning on the boiler, are you? Oh, oh, oh baseball bat, baseball bat. No, it was no, 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 don't hand it to him. Silly. Don't hand it to him. The whole family was there. Mom, dad, my sisters. It was I don't like that pause. I don't like that pause. On the big lawn. Like, if we move the light, will he, like, get triggered and fly off the handle? Did we All just right. turn on like... Five, girl. Mm. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh shit, I almost missed a high five. I almost missed a high five and triggered him on a killing spree. I swear, he's doped up. He's doped up. Nothing regular wait, wait, about Is it. he like being summoned by the noise and the lights? If it were me, I wouldn't want this place to burn down on my watch. No, don't, yeah, don't say burn right. down. Don't give him ideas. What the fuck is that? Bitch has got a... S Fucking cobra on his desk. Is that so? Such a giving and caring person. Motherfucker, Very stop nice. talking to me like you're about to put a bullet through my head. Oh. Let's be serious. Okay. Let's not piss off any ghosts. Um, I think we uh, really need to find out who's trying to communicate. I think with we us. get the fuck off of this mountain. What are you warning us about? J O S H. Oh. Here it goes. Dude, even if there weren't anything supernatural, I don't think um, it's a good idea to be raising this in front of this guy. Apologize. Apologize. Beth. You guys are full of it. Oh god, we triggered him. We triggered him. Should we go after him? Ah, man, Norman I, Bates is I on the loose. Okay, ah! Whoa! Christ! That was bullshit. That was bullshit. Wait a minute. Okay, so someone obviously staged that. Yes. I really wish there were a run button. I really freaking wish there were a run button. And I have not ruled out that this crazy bitch behind me isn't the killer either. The only person I haven't suspected anything of yet is Sam. Sam and Matt. Everyone else is a serial killer as far as I'm concerned. And maybe that's a twist, huh? Was it someone screaming? No, no it was a squirrel, damn it. No. See, uh, he knows. Probably. Anything? Come on. Defensive knives, flashbangs, grenades. <laughs> Whose stupid ass idea was it to come up here without a freaking magnum? Michael, I am a lady and 
a lady needs a proper romantic setting. Well, a real lady would probably not be wearing some fake ass Uggs. Oh shit, wait a minute. Visions of fire. Fire hot. Fire burns. Kills us all. Winning bronze, Alberta. Invitation. Okay, so they are confirmed Canadian. You're lighting a fire, Michael. Not writing a novel. How much longer right. is it going to take you? I'm checking everything out first. Or shall we say, oot first. What does that say? K Kama Sutra. What the fuck? What are, you, what are you jacking off to the book? It's so cold in here right now, my tongue will get stuck to your flagpole. Is this bitch serious? I swear she's faking it. I swear she's faking it. Oh, hell yeah. All right, nothing in the dank toilet. Is there? No, no. Damn, damn it. Get off, get off, get off. Oh, fucking shit, fuck, fuck, shit. Did this dumbass just like scare himself? What do you think was in there, Mike? Oh, Jess. Oh God, yes. yes. Oh God, fire? sweet no. Jesus, yes. I'm shoving in some wood. Oh God. Mm. Don't explode. Don't explode. Man one, fire zero. Apparently, these teenagers are allergic to living. The moment the coitus happens, or threatens to happen, that's the danger. Mike, there's like a, a huge fucking gun right there. Can you just grab it first, please? What the hell's that playing? Oh, bullshit. Bullshit. It's your phone! Yeah, it was the phone that broke what? through the window. She's dead. She's dead. By all horror movie logic, she is dead. Was there a way to save her? Was there truly a way to save her? If this is your way of trying to make me feel better, you're fired. Squirrels. You hear that? Ash? Ash? What the fuck? Oh shit, am I deciding who's gonna die and who's gonna live? Shit, between these two, see, these are this is the couple that I'm kind of neutral about both of them. Uh, Chris, you can't punch boulders, so I'm gonna have to prefer Ashley. Well, I found Jessica in Resident Evil Revelation to be pretty useless. Unrelated game, but I'm going to have to go with Mike. Oh, shit. Is this like a battle royale? Am I setting up a battle royale? Tell me, in this little game you're playing so diligently, who is it that you most dislike? You, motherfucker! <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Bullshit. Bullshit. Jesus. Yeah, all those hours playing Resident Evil 4 are coming in handy. Yeah, the goddamn Krauser fight flexing my, my QTE reflexes. Come on. I'm waiting for the bullshit. I'm waiting for the bullshit. Okay. Okay. Bullshit. Bullshit. Dude, these QTEs give you, like, no warning. And it sucks that I don't have a map because I have no idea where the hell I am. Oh, shit. No. Just a squirrel. Just a squirrel. Oh, shit. 
Oh god, it's Saw. We just jumped into a Saw movie. And where the hell have Matt and Emily been? What if they're in on all this? What if Emily and Matt are in on all this? Like, what if em Ashley? yeah, what if Emily's like playing this huge fucking joke on everyone? Oh my god, I sound like I'm talking about a, an episode on Dawson's Creek. She's dating him, but he doesn't want to date her. Fred! Uh, Ash, I'm okay. here. Where are Pretty you close? guys? What the fuck? God damn it! What the fuck? Chris! Oh. Tonight, what? we're gonna what conduct this? a little experiment. Sort of test. Now for this experiment, no, I don't, I don't. we'll make the cooperation of our it's all. It's all. Oh my god, we are up Dawson's Creek without a paddle. Please. It's gotta be Ashley. It, it's gotta be Ashley. Sorry, Josh. I... Some bullshit, dude. This is some bullshit. No, it, it's gonna stop at the last minute, right? It's gonna stop at the last minute, right? What the fuck? All right, right. we would have been screwed no matter what, so we chose to save the girl that we love. Okay, so it's not Emily, it's not Matt, it's not Chris, it's not Ashley, it's not Jesse, obviously, it's not Mike. I mean, rule of impossibility, is it Sam? Could Sam be behind all this? See, because Emily's annoying, but I don't think she's a killer. Yeah, you know what, I don't give a fuck who you are, what do you want? trying to help you on this game you play this guy's got some crazy nice teeth for, you, for a villain for anyone. no there's got to be someone else behind all of this there's there's obviously some kind of, yeah like that see there's obviously some kind of like a supernatural i'm not sure if it's supernatural but it's certainly not human and then there's a human behind all of it too but what what is the connection between the two is that the psycho Shit, we gotta deal with wolves now. Freaking bone-chewing wolves. What the hell is a sanatorium doing all the way up here? I feel like the, the list of suspects is actually surprisingly narrow. It's just that we're just missing the final suspect. We've eliminated a couple of suspects already. The only one I haven't been able to eliminate so far is Sam. Huh? Huh? What? Huh? Is this what he was feeding them? What the fuck? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Try it one more time, come on, come on, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Okay, one more time, one more time, come on, come on. Jesus. Shit, was that close, that close of fucking slicing my own fingers off. Real tempted there for a moment. Oh shit, I lost my machete. Is that like the secret ID card to get out of here? <gasps> yes, it is. Secret ID card. Oh. That's different. Nathan Drake in Saw. That's weird. I just forced them all out. Dude, Nathan Drake, can you stop like trying to solve the mystery of the sanatorium and just find Jesse already? Oh, oh, I got the yeah, I got the master key card. Yeah, that's right. Keep the key card. What the fuck? Oh shit, I was about to Easy boy. fucking punch Easy. the dog in the face. I see a revolver. I see Barry's revolver. Hell yeah. This will come in handy for Lisa Trevor. Glue found. Axe. It chops things. Think again, lughead. No can do. For one Smooth. thing, that maniac is probably just sitting there under that window waiting to blend us into pina coladas. Is this a shining reference? Hey, look. Fire tower. Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh? Very friendly. <sighs> Unfollow. Maybe they're German. Uh, the word die is actually D. The, 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 right? Great. No 
keys, no cable car. <gasps> what about the fire tower on, on the map you Ooh, found? Ooh, I wish well, I thought of that. I guess it's an the fire oh, tower. I'm agreeing with my idea, not hers. Call for help. Rule number one, Emily is always right. Rule number two, nothing else matters because Emily is always right. Hey, could uh -huh. you, like, turn around while I, like, slowly lift this axe to the back of your skull? Totem. Is this, uh, Visions of Emily's Death? Oh, what is that? Squirrels. Squirrels. Jesus. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Uh, let me remember my Boy Scout survival skills here. I get the feeling like Sam is like the... In terms of the, the horror film art... She very much is like the archetype of like the... What they call like the sexualized virgin. She's allowed to be sexual, but at the same time she's quote-unquote pure. <laughs> so that way she's the one that doesn't die. Let's hope. Yeah, that's right. Let's just nonchalantly walk around in a snowy cabin with no lights, no heat, no anything, in a bath towel. That makes perfect fucking it's, sense. It's my clothes, really? All right, the big twist is that she's gonna get like a bazooka, right? The bath towel girl with a bazooka. With horror films, there's like, the genre itself has certain quote unquote conventions that usually happen. And it's interesting that with this game, you are in a way allowed to like quote unquote subvert the expectations. Shit, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, shit, shit. The psycho's path. Did I just send her to her death? Calm, no, 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 calm, calm, stay calm. This one, uh, check us out as well. No, Pretend. No, 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 Matt. They're like, gonna hurt us. No, 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 don't, don't. You crazy bitch, you better not get us killed. It's that's okay. right, that's right. Come on. That's what they taught us Come in Boy Scouts. Here. Do not make yourself an enemy of the reindeer. Okay, we've navigated the reindeer, so we should be pretty cool now, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Matt navigated the reindeer. Emily, you're freaking useless. If it were up to you, we'd probably be dead already. We can't confirm that Sam's dead. We can't confirm that Jesse's dead either. But so far, no one has... No one is confirmed technically dead except for Josh. No, no, don't give her the gun. Don't give her the gun. My name is Emily. I am a bitch. Hello? And I need your help. I got a GPA of 4.0. You gotta help me. Yes, he's coming for you. He's coming for you and no one else because you're so special. Even the maniacs only want to get you. I'm fine with that. Okay, we're high up, right? Oh we're on a tall building, so nothing can happen to us. Up oh, shit. She was unsavable. She was unsavable. So, Matt, there's this girl named Sam. I believe she is single. Uh, okay, so as far as we know, or as far as we think, or as far as we hope. What? What the fuck? Okay, I can't do anything, I can't do anything. What? What? I think I may have accidentally screwed Matt over by caring about Emily. Alright, so we have... Josh dead. We have... We have Matt confirmed dead. I mean, I have no idea how he would have survived that. Wait a minute. Did you just see that? Uh, did, did I see what? That! I didn't see anything. That. I didn't see anything. What was that? It was like, it was like a see-through shape, like a ghost. Oh, boy. I'm serious. Why don't 
you believe me? I said I saw it. Doesn't that count for anything? Wait. You crazy ass bitch. I saved your no, life. I will tell you what is real and what is not real. Your mind is fried. Maybe there was a way to save Matt? And like the choices would have been super complex because I tried to do everything to make sure that, you know, regardless of how much Emily abused him, that he was still trying to do the right thing. Before, when Chris you scared us down windows. here, he said that there was a shitload of like no. movie props and stuff, right? Scene with dolls and everything. What would a horror game be without... Wait! Chris, 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 the ghost! What? Did you see it? No. You were looking at your phone, you dip. What are you tweeting? Hashtag, there's a freaking ghost after us. Ash, calm down, okay? There is Hashtag, no we're ghost fucked. Here. Yeah, some hereditary shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. But it's, it's oh, so accurate. I mean, that's exactly crap. where I was sitting, and that's where Matt was. This was set up by someone who was there. I think someone, either who was there or witnessed the actual event, is trying to teach us a lesson. Whoa! What? Oh! What the hell was that? Nothing. But you did see it, Chris, for real. What the fuck was that? I saw something. Was that a stage prop? Stuff down here. It's a catalog. Uh, Gleam professionally. Oh, I know this. These are film lights. Sam's bracelet, and she never takes this thing off. I don't say we're gonna have to we're gonna have to choose between cutting her in half and you know someone else. No. When you're right, you're right. I don't wanna be. I wanna leave. No. We've gotta find Sam. Let's See, that's go. like the morally conscious thing to do. But I feel like in this game it doesn't matter. I mean Matt did the moral the morally conscious thing. And where did that land him? What just doesn't add up? What doesn't add up? Any of this, the, the psycho, all this crazy stuff going on down here. I just, I feel like we've missed something. Something that'll make it all connect. She's perceptive. She's uh, very perceptive. I, know what you mean, I feel the same way. I mean, right. there's like one missing piece of the puzzle here, and it feels like the game is deliberately withholding that one little piece of the puzzle that would just unravel all of this. Timers, TV, and lights. Is this all bullshit? There's something out there, but then there's also some psycho wandering around. But I, I get a, I get the feeling that the psycho is just putting on a show. If it is all for show, then maybe Sam is not dead? And maybe Josh isn't dead? But Matt is most certainly dead, right? Think about it! Ghosts don't hook up video cameras? Yeah, exactly. Play games? Then who would set this all up? Seriously, I'm asking. I don't know, maybe the same person- Like someone's setting this all up. It's gotta be. Josh? Oh god. Hello? Sam? Or is it a dummy? Sam! Chris, is she dead? Holy shit, holy shit. Wait, wait, no, she's not, no. She's not dead. How do you know? She's still breathing. Oh. Is she bait? Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad, this is bad. We've got to get her oh, out of shit. here. Oh, shit. Oh, more video cameras. Oh, oh God, is this another saw bullshit thing? Hit me. Well, here's the thing. No matter what we choose, we can't guarantee that the other person won't die also. Now, it w I don't think it really would have made that much of a difference. Here's the thing. Because even if we shot her, there's no guarantee that far now. that don't we wouldn't see? have also gotten killed. Huh? Don't you see fuck? that this torture porn has torture gone porn. too far? Okay, I think we're going to stop right there. Oh, God. I got to replay all the terrible decisions I made as Matt. Ah, let go! Yeah, like, what is... Oh, did you see that? I'm not really playing the game in a sense. I'm just kind of watching it and then just reacting with button inputs. But here's what I think is happening so far. I think the only person we can truly confirm is dead, like dead dead, is Matt. I just saw something. I saw like a shape grabbing Matt and sticking him on one of those hooks. The thing that killed Matt and that psycho are not the same person. I don't think. Chris shot himself, but we didn't see we didn't see brains getting blown out just yet. And bear with me on this. Sam, I don't think she's dead. Emily fell down a chasm, but again, no we no body just yet. Jesse, she was still alive the last time we saw her. 
and Mike is still alive. Josh we saw getting sliced up, but the thing is that the maniac, the psycho, I get some feeling like it's all a show. It's all theatrics. Like all the crap in the basement was like movie props. The uh, the batteries being hooked up to like the lights and the TV, the video cameras, the um, the strobe lights. It seems like someone is setting up this elaborate ruse to screw with their heads. All that means is that everything that happens with the psycho, I get the feeling like it's not real or it's like it's made to look real. That's why I'm saying I don't know. I can't say 100% for sure if Josh is dead. I can't say if Chris is dead. The thing that grabbed Jesse, I think there's two things. I think there's a psycho, which is like the fake theatrics. And then I think there's an, there's actually something really out there. The thing that looks with the, the predator thermal vision. If we're going by like horror movie, misdirection the psycho isn't real isn't like a real killer and it's all just for show but then there's an actual real killer out there and then the real killer is what we're going to be facing we see this creature with the the thermal vision at the beginning and almost everywhere in the game and then i saw the guy in the sanitarium with the the wolves but that's not the same person the person in the sanitarium with the wolves and the psycho are, cannot be the same person because we saw the events happening simultaneously all right i'll leave you guys there for now, but uh, join me again next weekend, same time. I live stream on Saturdays from 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will see you next weekend.